Stick around to see if this window art set is worth your coin, first of all, if it's a good fit for your kids, and you get to see how to use it. And guys, I'm giving y'all my honest opinion on this yeah. one, so you definitely don't wanna miss this. So you know what to do. Stay tuned. What a wonderful world. Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Cheryl, the activity author, and I am here to give you guys another review video. Now, if you are strictly here for my book inspired craft videos, I know girl, I know guy, but guys, I'm gonna be back with that. That's gonna be my next video. But I have to tell you guys all about this wonderful kit that I found at the Walmart on the clearance rack, and I'm gonna have to let y'all know a little bit of tea. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this bad boy so we can see what we gonna get inside. Um, like I said, I got this from Walmart. It was $6 on the clearance rack, but guys, you can still find this all over if you google the name um it'll pop up many different people amazon walmart as you can see the prices are still very cheap it's not six dollars but it's still cheap so if you like this you can get it i got some links in the description box below for y'all okay so as y'all can see from the box it's saying the benefits of your child using this self-expression color coordination imagination yeah we know art does all of those things so you can already see that there are some benefits to this kit I also like that the box has um, color guides on them. So like if you don't know how to color your stencil, you can look at the box and just kind of copy the, you know, the colors they have it on the box. So that's another plus with this beautiful colorful box. So inside you get a lot of stuff. You get the colors, of course. You get the stencils. And the stencils are really good material very like it's not cheap at all so very durable uh, we got butterfly here we got some flowers we got a turtle on this one we got a beautiful love sign peace we have a giraffe and sun and a rainbow lion and a monkey now if you want different types they have different types of kits so like halloween and all that so you also get the suction and you get the uh, invisible thread to hang your artwork once you're done so this is a very simple kit it does come with instructions on showing you how to make the sun catchers which is when you paint the stencils or you can use the stencils to make peel and stick artwork i did not know that so let me show you all the peel and stick and how i feel about that first so on the peel and stick what it tells you to do is you have to take your stencil you take the plastic that comes in the kit and you're going to tape your stencil to this plastic okay so just watch what i'm doing All right, so now that we have it taped on there so it doesn't move, now we are ready to create. So you're gonna use your black paint and you are going to um, just basically trace around this. Now I will say this, I had the toughest time getting this black paint to work. And I don't know if it's because the kit is old, that's probably why I was on the clearance rack, um, but it would not come out. I kept squeezing, y'all see how it's like beating up? It's not even like coming out. So I had to open it up and then I had to try to figure out if something was caught in there, but I would not, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like, okay, I would get another kit just to see if it was just this kit, but as y'all can see, look, I'm opening it up. I'm trying to see what the clog is. And then I finally got it open and look, now it's just liquefied and I couldn't get it for the life of me. So maybe I didn't shake it up enough, but yeah, this part was the toughest and I don't know after squeezing it so many times I guess see now it's starting to come out good but I don't know what I did wrong so if y'all have this kit and y'all had the same problem please drop down in the description box and let me know um this is a cool idea but I don't know if the paint ain't working right then it's not gonna work for you but I kept going on and you know I persisted so it, it, it worked out eventually but anyway so now that I have the black paint um, lined up and I'm able to um, go in with my colors and just fill it in. So it's very simple once you get the black paint down, but yeah, I'm gonna have to check up on that. But 
I really got this kit for the stencils, not doing the peel and stick, but I thought, hey, since I can do it, let's try it and see if it's worth a try. But in my opinion, eh, I, I, I'll stick to the stencils. I'm not really a fan of the peel and stick, even though keep watching to see how it turns out. So we're gonna let this dry overnight, 24 hours. We're gonna see if this hot mess express turned into something great. All right, so now let's move on to the main reason why I got this for the sun catchers. So this part is super simple. Um, I recommend this for kids, probably second grade and up can handle this. Um, only thing I would say is kids that have a good coordination with squeezing paint, this would be good for them. And the paint came out of the two very easy. I don't know, it was just something about that black one, which I maybe, it might have been old, so I'm not gonna talk bad about the company, but I'm gonna try it one more time and I'm gonna get a new one off the shelf to just, you know, I'm gonna double back on this one. But you see how easy it comes out and it's so fun. So I decided to let my two and four year old try it. Now look what they did, y'all. Just squeezing all the paint on the stuff. So I would suggest, it, you could do this with younger kids, just help them squeeze it. And also put a plate underneath it or some kind of paper towel to stop the mess because I just kind of let them go in. So now that we got our mess controlled, you guys will get to see how theirs turned out as well. But yeah, two and four year olds can handle this too, just with adult supervision. <laughs> So overall, I will say I love making the sun catchers. This was very easy, very fun, and very, very simple. All right, so now 24 hours later, this is how your stencils will look once it's dry. And all you gotta do is hang them up. The stick turned out as well. That didn't turn out so bad, even though it was a struggle. But I did love the way that the colors came out. The paint was very good quality, as you can see. So um, I would say that this kit, in my opinion, is very well worth it. I also love that we have glitter paint in here. See how beautiful those flowers turned out? But kids will have a lot of fun with this. This is something fun for you to do during the summer, you know, hanging out, just trying to have something to do but I would suggest this kit. Um, so when you are getting the peel and stick, you got first, you gotta let it dry 24 hours, okay? Then take your stencil off. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna peel it off and you're gonna stick it. And it actually doesn't break apart. I thought it was gonna break because I was scared to peel it, but it actually came off really easy, guys. And you know what it feels like? It feels like plastic. That's really what it feels like. So the paint dries into this plastic type of material and you can just stick it on the window. You will be glad to know that it is still sticking till this day. I had I stuck it three days ago and it's still up there. It didn't fall off or anything. So good quality. If you decide to use it for the peel and stick, uh, if the black paint works, it'll be good to go. So the last thing I wanna kind of warn you guys about is the suction cup hangers. Now, in my opinion, they're not 100% the best, only because I have to keep picking them up every day. But as you can see, I'm taking the string, I'm putting it through the hole in the stencil, and then I'm tying it in a knot, and then I'm just sticking the suction thing on the window just like this, and I'm hanging it, right? So every day I would get up two of my, my suction cup hangers will be on the ground and I'm trying to figure out why is my window dirty do I need to put some water on it but the rest of them will stay up so I don't know if it's a me problem or if it's an issue with the suction cups but just watch out for that I mean I still think it's a good kick guys I would still suggest this but just watch that I mean at the end of the day you can still put it up with tape it's not a make or break to me that the suctions don't stay up the whole time but just watch out for that but guys, if you love this video, I would love for you guys to check out my other videos because what I normally do on this channel is arts and crafts using household items and I am usually inspired by books. So if you like crafting and making book crafts, definitely check out my other videos. I am the activity author and follow me on Instagram. I have lots of reels and ideas on there as well. So guys, thank you so much for dropping by for this review. If you like it, please like this video and subscribe to the channel to get more and drop me a comment below. Let me know if you're going to get this kit or not. Okay. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.